Oversight models tend to generally fall into one of two types. One, a body that reviews the results of the sheriff's investigation of citizen complaints only, or two, a body that reviews the results of citizen complaints and internal department complaints. So the first question for you, uh, Supervisor Sumidian, will you support independent oversight that includes the review of investigation results of external, for example, citizen, and internal department complaints? Yes. My one minute is with the understanding that there are going to be some limitations that apply by virtue of state law. And one of the important distinctions that hasn't been mentioned tonight is the sheriff is an independently elected official. The Board of Supervisors is not the boss of her, as she would be quick to tell you if she were here. She has independent authority under state law, and there are other provisions in state law that limit the ability of our Board of Supervisors to engage the sheriff. But I believe that we should pursue an oversight model that is the most robust and inclusive possible model. We're only going to get one chance at this, at least for the foreseeable future. We better get it right. And the last thing I'll say is it's important that we do the right thing, but it's also important that we do the right thing the right way. We're going to be looking at body-worn cameras in the next week or two. The policies that are in place governing their use are key. It may seem abstract, but spending the money, imposing the burden, making assurances to the public all mean nothing if we don't have good policies in place to make sure that that oversight and that transparency is real. I want to ask, I want to encourage, and I want to exhort you all to be critically attentive in these next two weeks to make sure that the policy the board does adopt is one that's real and does all of those things. And thank you for the extra 20 seconds, Grace. I appreciate it. Vice President Winslow, will the Deputy Sheriff's Association support independent enforcement oversight that includes review of the investigation results of external and internal department complaints? Yes. But I think it doesn't just stop there. It needs to expand into the policies and procedures and practices which are set by the administrative level, which affect the ability and it affects the, the, the tempo and it affects the direction of the department. Unless you have all of those pieces being looked at from an independent perspective, you're not going to have the transparency that, you're, that everybody wants. President Lee, will the Correctional Peace Officers Association support independent jail oversight that includes review of the investigation results of external and internal department complaints. I'm sorry at this time, I cannot support that decision. We, the CPOA and my membership support the jail reforms. There are a lot of changes going inside my agency right now. For example, the use of four policies has been reviewed. Every incident is documented, not just the camera that throughout the facility. We also, when a supervisor or, or when a person responds to an incident, we have camera, we capture everything. Um, the supervisor, the officers that respond to the incident also document the incident on the scene, the supervisor reviewing that, and on top of that, the lieutenant, the watch commander on the team are also review the whole situations. So as far as give us a chance for transparency, the use of force systems is um, you know, changing. We are documenting, and in the future, it will also be released to the public. Thank you for your input and your honesty. Thank you for being here tonight.